Welcome back, fuckers. Alrighty, today we're going to run through how to do a fast INS alignment in the uh, A10. So the A10, uh, the longest part of starting up the A10 is the INS alignment. And there is a quicker way to get through this. So we're going to quickly get this show on the road. So um, let's just turn up the gamma because always was saying that it was a little dark in the cockpit. So we'll bump that up to two. So hopefully you can see a bit better now. Uh, we're going to go battery on, inverter on, come over here. We're going to turn our APU on. All right. Do the usual startup procedure. Get all that ready to go. And then once the APU is spooled up to 100%, turn our APU on. And we're also going to turn on, while we're right there, CDU and EGI. Okay, remember that you need both of those for your uh, INS alignment to do its thing. 100% APU power, APU on. And here we go. We're going to go for a left start. While the engine is starting, we're going to keep an eye on this guy right here. Turn that on, turn that on, just so it's a little bit easy to see. We're going to bring our CDU up on here and I'll show you what to do. And it's doing its thing, spooling up. Just keep an eye on this. As soon as it goes to our nav page, it's going to start its INS alignment automatically. Yeah. All right, so in here, you're going to come down to this page. You're going to press INS. And again, once that loads up, you can put your CDU on there. So you're going to go to INS. Click that. We're going to go to alternate alignment. Click that. And then here, fast. Click fast. Bam. All right, so you've got to do this quick, though. If, you, if the INS alignment has already begun, this fast option won't be a thing. So you've got to keep an eye on this because otherwise, your... Uh, your INS won't have an option. You won't be able to select fast. All right, and what this will do, it would essentially, what about 402, 40 seconds. So we'll just speed this up now. Instead of going to 4.00.8, goes to 1.4, I think. Bam, INS nav ready. Okay, and it's been pretty much two minutes. So once it says INS nav ready, Hit nav, hit EGI, and then uh, come on, track IR, don't do this to me. Focus don't have the other stuff turned on yet, because we haven't started everything. Alright, but your INS is done, super quick. So that's how you do a fast alignment. So to confirm, you come back to on your INS page. All right, so this is the page that'll load up. You'll go INS, alternate, and alternate alignment, and then check fast. So if you're too slow, it'll say fast, but it won't have the little dot next to it. So you've got to have the dot next to fast, press that, and then it'll go to 1.4 instead of 4.0, 4.0, 0 0.8. Okay, get you up in the air a lot quicker. Alrighty, hope that helped. If it did, make sure you hit the like button. Nice little hints and tips right there. Uh, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And lastly but not least, come check me out on Twitch. I stream Monday to Friday, Australian Western Standard Time, 1300 for the military folk, 1 p.m. in the afternoon for the, the non-military minded with the times. Come on by, say good day, and ask any questions you've got live on stream, and I'll do my best to answer them and hopefully between all of us in there we can uh, nut out what your problem is and get you flying doing the thing that you wanted to do righto guys catch you fuckers on the next one